Okay, good morning ladies and gentlemen. We're with our Wednesday um, supported independent living group and what we're going to do is today we're going to make some cottage poi and um, baked potatoes um, and some mixed veg. Okay, so here we have our mints. Okay, we have about uh, five, uh, five to six pound of mints and um, we have our potatoes, rooster, rooster potatoes and um, we have our onions and um, we have our white and our red onions. We have our garlic and we have our mixed veg and that we, uh, we bought already prepped. There's leeks and celery and carrots in there. We have our salt and pepper, we have our butter. We have our gravy mix, and we have our stock, we have our olive oil, we have our pots and uh, our utensils um, that we're going to be using today. Okay, so this is all the ingredients and all the utensils in relation to what we're going to be using today to make a lovely uh, homemade uh, cottage pudding. So uh, the very first stage what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, prep up our, our veg. We're going to peel our onions, we're going to uh, peel our garlic um, and we're going to peel our potatoes and we're going to get ready um, for uh, starting off um, with, with, with the cottage oil. Here we go, um, we're after peeling um, our onions and we're after uh, just crushing the bulb um, of garlic and we're, we've, we've turned around the cloves, we've peeled uh, the garlic so we just topped and tailed um, the garlic and the onions and just took the skin off them. So then we've cut our potatoes into quarters and um, this is our potatoes that are going to be for mashing. So our potatoes are peeled, cut up and ready to go. So what we're going to next stage is now we're going to uh, chop up our onions and we're going to crush our garlic. Ladies and gentlemen we've crushed our garlic with our knife, we've finally chopped um, our onion. So our veg is all prepped up and ready to go. So the next stage is now um, we have our kettle on um, uh, with boiled water for our potatoes. We're going to put our stock on um, with the boiling water with two uh, Norse stock cubes uh, for our mints. Our garlic and onions are ready and we're going to put some of our potatoes in, into the uh, oven um, for baked potatoes. Okay, so we're going to start the cooking process now. We're all prepped up and um, ready to go. We preheated the oven and we're just putting our baked potatoes um, in the oven there um, as well. We just wrapped them in tin foil, our rooster potatoes. So these are going to accompany um, the cottage pie and the veg. All right, so our baked potatoes, we just have to wrap them in tin foil, just put a little bit of olive oil on them and we're going to put them in the oven. They should be done in about an hour or so. As we can see here, um, we have our stock on. We just have two stock cubes, okay, and some boiling water. And we also um, have our potatoes. Um, on, we just we put the potatoes into boiling salt, salted seasoned water with uh, salt and pepper. So they're ready to go, and we have our pot heating up now for the fry off. So we're just going to add, add in our olive oil, some olive oil, triple of olive oil. Okay, it's going to should be hot, and then we're going to add in um, our onions um, and our garlic. Okay, so we're just going to add our onions and garlic. Okay, good stuff. So nice little bit of flavour going on. Okay, I'm going to infuse um, the onions, flavour out the onions and the garlic. Okay, and then we're going to do is now we're going to add in our vegetables, our celery, and our carrots, and our leeks. Okay, so we're just going to give that a good stir up. Okay, and then. When that is uh, sauteed off, we will add in onion. You can see there that veg um, is all sauteed off. So the next phase now is, is to add in our mints. Okay, so we're going to add in our mints. Okay. We're going to give it a good stir up and we're going to fry off the mints. Sauteed off. Okay, so we're going to give it a good sauteed off.
bee here, uh, gradually our mince is starting to brown off. Our potatoes are up to the boil, so we're just going to lower down um, our potatoes. Our stock is boiled, so we're just looking to uh, to continue sauteing off um, our, our mince. Okay, so another 10 minutes and our mince will be ready for stock now. Seasoned um, the mince with some salt and pepper also. And we've just covered our potatoes, we've just lowered the, the, the heat down on our potatoes. Our stock um, is simmering away and we're just looking to cook off, cook out our mince a little bit more. And yeah, we're looking to brown off our mince. See there, um, our, our uh, mince um, is all uh, sauteed off. So the next stage, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to add um, in our stock. Okay, so we're just going to turn off the heat underneath our stock and we're going to add um, the stock. Um, you know, it's about a point and a half um, of stock there in on top of the mince. Okay, so again, we're just going to give that a good stir up. Okay, bring it to the boil, and then we'll add in our we'll add in our gravy mix then. Okay. Okay, so we've added in our stock. And as soon as it comes to the boil, we're going to add in our gravy mix. So again, we've added in our stock. Okay, and. We're going to add in our gravy mix, a couple of, a couple of spoonfuls of our gravy mix then, um, to thicken up um, the, the mints, the, the mints for the cottage pudding. It um, continues to, uh, to cook away, so we're just going to add in um, a couple of teaspoons, tablespoons of our gravy mix, okay, which will thicken up um, the cottage pudding mix, the mince meat mix, okay. So as soon as we add it in, and we're going to store it there. We're just storing in the gravy mix. Okay. So we put three uh, tables, uh, tablespoons in. So we're just going to put four. Okay. So there we go. There's four tablespoons of uh, gravy mix. It's important to use a good gravy mix. And um, nor would probably be the best um, gravy mix um, to use. Okay. So there we go. We're just going to bring that up to the boil. Let it simmer. Let it thicken up that we place it in the tray then. See our potatoes, we have some roast potatoes and we have some baked potatoes um, in the oven there and they're nicely um, cooking away. They're going to, uh, we're going to serve them with um, the cottage pudding. Okay, so our potatoes are cooking along nice, our roast um, and our baked potatoes are coming along nicely in the oven. Checking our potatoes and we can see here, as soon as the fork goes through the potatoes, and um, we know that the potatoes are cooked. So it's after taking 20 minutes um, for our potatoes to cook. So we're going to strain them now. Okay, a cottage pie mix um, is ready to go into, into the trays. Okay, so we're just going to strain our potatoes and um, let them uh, dry out, um, and then we're going to start putting um, the cottage pie um, together for the oven. Okay, so strain the potatoes, let them dry out, um, and we're going to mash them then. We have our butter and um, they're melted. So our potatoes are strained, so we're just letting them dry out just for a couple of minutes, and then we're going to add in our butter um, and we're going to. Uh, Cream our potatoes. So you can generally use a, a, a potato masher um, or a whisk. Um, I'm going to use a whisk today. So we're also going to just add um, some seasoned salt and pepper to the potatoes. Um, we're going to cream them and then to be ready for to, uh, for the topping then for the cottage pudding. See here, our mashed potato is nice and creamy. Our mince, cottage poi mince is ready to go. So we're gonna start putting um, the cottage poi um, together now. Our mash is nice and cream, and our cottage poi, our mince meat is cooked um, in our gravy. Our mince um, into our tray, we're gonna do a big one, a big cottage poi, and then we just three small ones, okay? So we've two individualized, um, a medium sized cottage poi, um, and a large one, okay? So we just ladled um, the, uh, the mince um, into uh, the dishes and what we're going to do is we're just going to let it settle now before we start putting our mash in. We our potato into our on top of our mince so what we're going to do is now we're just going to give it an effect now with a fork. Okay we're just going to go down uh, with the fork and um, in lines and give it a nice kind of uh, rough effect. Okay so this is this gives it a nice effect go, go down straight and then go back forward and it gives it a nice 
fat, crispy effect, and when it's cooked down. Alrighty. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go down here with the fork, just some lines, just gently, just gently bring it down, around, and then just gonna give it a kind of a peaked kind of effect. Okay, so same with the small ones. Okay, so our cottage pies are ready now uh, for the oven. So they're probably going to take about 20 to 25 minutes uh, to go nice and crispy um, in the oven. Okay, so our cottage pies are ready to go into the oven. Here we go, um, our cottage pies um, are gone into the oven now and um, we're going to cook them off now for about 25 um, to 30 minutes until they get nice and crispy. Okay, so we're just going to close up the oven now and let um, the mash uh, uh, go nice and crispy on top. Now here, um, our cottage pie is, is done. Um, it's nice and crispy um, on top. So we're just gonna let it settle uh, for a while. And um, we just have our frozen veg now coming up to the boil. And um, that shouldn't be too long. So we're nearly ready for service now. Our potatoes are uh, back in the oven, our baked potatoes and our roast potatoes. So we're just gonna let our cottage pie uh, just relax for a few minutes and then we're gonna serve it. Now. Hello ladies and gentlemen, our cottage pie is served. Okay, so we have our cottage pie, our baked potato, um, our mixed veg, and our roast potatoes. Okay, so there we go, our cottage pie, our roast potatoes, our baked potatoes, and our mixed veg. Okay, so it's all ready, ready to go now. All right, so it possibly took about um, an hour and uh, 30 minutes uh, from start and the finish for the put and the cottage pie um, dinner um, together. Okay.